In a previous video, we went through our settings and set up our general writing, reading, discussion, media, and permalink settings. And I covered very briefly under reading that you have two ways of designating your home page. Your and they actually now they've changed it. They don't call it home page so much, they call it front page. So this is the primary page that people land on when they type your URL into their um, their search bar. So the currently we're set up with your latest posts. And once again, if you are strictly a blogger or updating your content on a frequent basis, you may want it to show your latest posts. This simply means every time we publish a new post, our homepage is dynamically going to update with the most recent one at the top and push the other um, individual posts further down. So once again, as a blogger and if you're blogging on a regular basis, perhaps that's the way you want your site set up. The other option is to create a static page. And if I click on this link, it's going to give us this explanation and where it's actually going to show us what our pages are here. So a static page is, is exactly that. It's going to be a page where there is um, content in predefined sections um, that are not going to necessarily update dynamically. So I'm going to um, go back to our settings and get back to reading so I can show you this. Um, so what would happen then if we chose this option? we would select what page we want to be our front page. And we would then select what page we would want to feature our posts. So this would be our blog. So let me give you a perfect example. So I've popped on over to DeannaFenton.com and this is what I would define as a static page. I don't have my blog post showing, um, so this does not change dynamically every time I publish a new blog post. Now my blog is over here on the menu, and this does change dynamically. So every time I publish a new post, it appears here at the top, and all the other posts drop down um, in reverse chronological order. So in this situation, I designated a page that would be my front page or home page and defined it as a static page. And I made my post page a page called blog. Kind of a little kind of confusing, but not really, right? So we're, let's go back to our website and we're going to go ahead and create a static home, uh, static front page and a post page. Okay, so here we are back at our reading settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I really didn't designate a page that I want to be my front page. So I'm going to click static page and it's going to take me to my list of existing pages. So because I don't have one, I'm going to say add new. And this new page is going to be named home. Pretty simple, huh? And I'm going to publish it. Um, and that's all we're going to do right now. We're going to really, of course, make some changes to this uh, and lay it out the way that we want it. But for right now, all we care about is that we have a page called Home. So by the same token, I'm going to click Add New. And we're going to create a, a page called Blog. So blog is where our posts are going to live. So this is one important step is because it's a blog, we don't really need to format it, except we want to come over here to where it says page attributes. And we want to choose a default template that is going to be, um, oops, default template. And we're just going to go ahead and publish this. So again, we're going to go back over to our settings and reading. Whoop, I'm sorry, writing. Boy, I'm really confused, aren't I? 
So we're going to come back over here to settings in our reading. So now we're going to say we want a static page and our front page is going to be the home page and our post page is going to be blog. And then we're going to click save changes. So what is that going to do? Well, let's go and look at our site and let's refresh the screen. Well, it pretty much wiped everything out, didn't it? So now we just simply have a page called home that no longer has any of that formatting. And we also have a page called blog. And the only thing on it right there are those two blog posts. Now, I haven't even created a menu yet. So the only way we can see the blog page is we're going to go back to our dashboard, go look at our pages, find blog, and you can see right here it's telling us that's our post page. I'm going to click view. And there it is. So, so again, it kind of looks like the old home page, right? You know, but this is where all the posts are going, going to live and it's going to be a separate menu item for this particular website. So once again, what we did is we had the option of making all our current or our most recent posts, um, the content for our home page, or we have the option of designating a page with static content as our front page and then a page where all our posts are going to live, which is going to be our blog. And that's how we initially now have set up this particular site. So again, the other option, if I go back over here is to go back to your latest posts and you'll see if I save those changes and we go back to our and refresh to our home page it's back the way it was so depending again if you're focused on blogging or if you're focused on um, a, a straightforward website you have the option of doing them either way